This is my own spice mix, and I'm going to teach you the basics for making your own spice mix. Ooh. Top of the page, Rocky Spice. Skip a line. Mise en place. The first ingredient is usually paprika. Is it color? It's cheap. It's a filler. Not much flavor. I use ancho chili powder. Now, while I wander out of the frame for some reason, let me explain uh, that this is a low sodium mix. Most spice mixes you buy in the store are a lot of salt base. Uh, that's because salt is cheap and salt provides flavor. Uh, I've cut mine way down. You could easily double the amount of salt in this recipe. So, as I said, First ingredient, three quarters cup ancho chili powder, one quarter cup table salt. Kosher salt is too big for this mix. Uh, it settles out. Next up, one quarter cup sugar. This balances out the heat that we'll be adding. Two tablespoons onion powder. Two tablespoons garlic powder, one quarter cup black peppercorns, freshly ground, two teaspoons chipotle powder. The black pepper, powdered onion, Powdered garlic, those are base. They're in almost every recipe. The heat kick at the end, I use chipotle. You could use cayenne. The powdered form for the onion and garlic are not the same as granulated onion and garlic. Think of them as the difference between granulated sugar and powdered sugar. The, the flavor is more intense when it's powdered. This is just a basic mix. Follow this formula, swap stuff out. Uh, you can add things, ginger powder, mustard powder. You can add dried herbs. I recommend using freeze-dried herbs. Put them into a container, scrape up whatever you spilled on the table, cap it off, and there you go. Don't forget to put a label on it, store it someplace out of sunlight, good for up to a year. About you, about you, about you.